Hello. So this is an update on my red mushroom coral. And keep in mind, if you've seen the last video, you can see this thing's grown by a factor of about four or five times since the last time I shot a video of this thing. So this is how much it has grown in less than five months. Just to give you an idea, if you're looking at a mushroom coral and you're like, oh, you know, it's going to take a long time to spread out, whatever it might be, this guy has grown exponentially. And as you can see here, it is absolutely huge. Gorgeous color. Uh, I really love it. And um, it has uh, formed a new little guy over here. It's kind of hard to see from the angle on the tank there. But... He's almost reattached himself to that original little pedestal that I got this guy on. I'm hoping it moves back on there, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull that thing out of there and then take it back to my local fish store and get some more trading credit for another coral. So, anyway, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea. Just this, <laughs> they grow fast, and they do spread fairly fast. So... Definitely want to be sure you dedicate a piece of rock to these guys. Uh, I would not recommend ever getting a mushroom coral like this and just trying to cram it in there with a bunch of other different kinds of coral. They do have uh, stinging sweeper tentacles so that they put out at night, so they can sting their neighbors. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you give these guys some space if you have them. Or if you want to go the other route and keep it cheap and simple and do maybe just like a mushroom tank and just do multicolored mushrooms, uh, that would be a great way to go with these guys as well. If you're just looking for a cost-effective tank, low care, these guys literally, I, I mean, they're, I don't know, as, as mentioned in another video, if a nuclear holocaust was to occur and a coral was going to survive, this would definitely be one of the top contenders. These things are very hardy, very durable. Um, so if you're a newbie and you're sitting there going, oh man, you know, what's going to grow my tank? What's not going to take a lot of care? Um, you know, as I said, as long as you're prepared to, uh, you know, be aware that you need to dedicate rocks to them, a good size rock, then I would say go ahead and get a mushroom coral. And that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.